Hi folks, we are today out for a wild camp here in the beautiful Kamsi Fels. Behind us we can see Damgoin and we are heading today direction Earlseed to the V Kori and Nebo Witches and there we are looking for a camp spot. Stunning. But I think over here on this little noble we will even get a better view. Oh, oh wow. Looks like a, this looks like a pretty decent camp spot, I think. Um, kind of on the edge, to be honest. But when we go here a couple of meters further back, it should be good. And the ground is also not too soggy. Good grip. Should be all right. Just have a short look that we find here a more or less flat spot. Okay, <laughs> okay, I think um, we need to turn the scarf slightly if that's the doors and the wind. I wasn't paying attention for the wind, um, I was just looking for the fuse. But I guess I do this quick, um, finish it off, and then I'll show you. That's me now, the tent set up, and I reduce the height by five centimeters that we have, like here, um, we are closer to the ground for the wind. This is how it looks like. At the front, I have more ventilation. I still have the 1 meter 25, so we have a big gap here. And what is new from outside, I have here like the ram hooks from CPEX instead of the plastic ones, which are much nicer to get the string out and in for opening the door. And I will put now the stuff in the tent and then I'll show you what I brought with me. So I'm now set up with the tent from inside and I brought with me like the satellite, the quilt and the trichology pillow. Then in the rear I have something warm and here's all my camera stuff and something to eat. And another really positive thing is when we have a little bit of wind that I assume that we will have no condensation in the um, single wall tent which the Lanshan 2 Pro is. And with cooking today, um, what I mentioned with the stove is today I brought an alcohol stove. I haven't used an alcohol stove in ages, um, but I saw it by Kev and Robin by our last tour we did. And I thought, hey ho, why shouldn't I use it? And yeah, I just needed to do short a windscreen because I don't have one. So I had a good point to drink some beers. Um, and this is just what I slide then together like this and this is in the windscreen and this was for Christmas cards it's usually for decoration 
Yep. I mean, it takes much longer than gas, but hey, we have time, don't we? And for dinner, we have like the cheese broccoli pasta later when the water boils, we put in. And I just need to put a little bit more um, fuel in. In this bottle, um, go 50 milliliter of fuel. Then you can see I used now less than half I filled it completely up so this meal will be easy peasy ready with the fuel which is in. The pot weighs 80 grams, the little stove I have weighs 8 grams and the bent wire is like 7 grams. So I have like this, the tins, my beer tins, I don't know how much they weigh, I'm honest, but I have, let it be 20 grams, so I have this 170 grams around it. I can cook um, two warm meals easily, which is just, I think, absolutely amazing. The north side of the Kamsi Fells are by far my favorite bits in the Kamsis. It's more rugged, it's really amazing. So I will now go to bed. Um, sunrise is at 5.40, I will set the alarm for 5.20 and see you tomorrow morning. Good night. Good morning, folks. Oh, so lovely colors in the sky. Yeah, the night was pretty good, it was cozy. But the launch is definitely more noisy than the scarp. Um, it's a bit windy. Unfortunately, I think it's too windy for the drone. But super beautiful outside. So I will now get slowly ready, pack my stuff together, and then I will head home. And hey, I hope you enjoyed our wee wild camp here in the Kamsi Fells, just outside of Glasgow. And hey, see you next time. Bye.